Oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I skipped right through that. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, so real quick, there's something I need to notice. Uh, I did basically just do a video on a Mayhem 10 stage coach. Uh, I'm gonna be trying. I'm gonna be making a lot of dupes of that. Uh, so try and get more people a copy of that stage coach. That I know people. That, that's such a hard weapon to really farm for. And uh, yeah, it's just really really useful overall. Anyways though, guys, uh, back to what we're talking about today. Uh, it's just like my new Mosbo that I've been kind of playing around with. Uh, a little bit recently uh it's just it's literally uh all bounty and blood weapons uh and they're because like they're all like stupidly insane especially the flipper so like basically the way the flipper works with this is that um as you fire more and more it's gonna uh, up its pellet count all the way up to nine pellets per shot uh which is obviously very insane especially whenever you you know uh, prog means of destruction with forge and everything like that you're you literally never run out of ammo uh, shooting with the flipper at enemies like even that right there so you're gonna be constantly just doing you know nine pellet count worth of damage with the with an SMG which is really really insane uh, and also the light show is another gun that's like really insane uh, it's very similar with what it can do uh, yeah, dude. Like, like, so, like, dude. <laughs> and then we also have things like the beacon. We have the gargoyle and things like the miscreeton. Uh, I don't have, uh, none of these are, are 5150 because I don't want to run Half Life with a Minesweeper. Uh, so we can actually make use of our old god here. Uh, but we also have things like the gargoyle, which is a really, really great corrosive weapon. Uh, a complete disgusting monster. 
Uh, this thing, like, completely shreds corrosive enemies, bro. Uh, this is a very, very powerful weapon, uh, for sure. And then we also, uh, had the beacon. I did a vi I did, I've done videos, I'm pretty sure I've done videos on all these except the light show. Uh, but yeah, the beacon's also a really, like, high damaging, uh, pistol, Malawan pistol, which got some of the biggest buffs with the recent patch of the DLC. Uh, so they're also just really, really good overall. Uh, and then we have our old god shield. Uh, it's just... Old God, it just kind of helps out with things like the flipper, or because the flipper is like the like just puts in the most work with this gun or with this type of build with Mo's in general. The flipper is like probably I would say a top two Mo's a top two Mo's weapon for sure, with you being able to instantly shoot it at nine pellets. Uh, it's very 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 good because as soon as you stop shooting, that's when it resets. So you have to literally hold down the trigger as mom the moment you get it full. Uh, you just keep that in mind. But that's also why why Mo's makes this gun so useful. The light show is also really insane times four. It's a blood off pistol. It, it's we got we got consecutives on it. Just does a lot of damage, and the beacon is also really really disgusting. Like all these guns are just disgusting in their own right, and these two have 160 splash uh, with Iron Bear, uh, and then we have the old god here, Radiation AC, and then we have the Cryo uh, Clone Humanning Tracker. Now I don't have a, a level 60 M10 uh, Clone Humanning Tracker yet. So I'm, I still use this one, but like these, uh, they're decent. Obviously, uh, like these things are still like still pretty strong, especially even like with uh, we have uh, some decent minesweepers that we could switch up. Something like this with grenade damage and splash damage and high and torch cross promotion. Uh, it does uh, uh, lend for these to still be very useful. Uh, and we do have vampire on here, so obviously that does help a lot as well. And we have the good old good old pearl. Although you could use things definitely like. A snow drift, uh, and like any, any victory rush would be really, really good, and maybe even a flesh melter if you uh, were, are mostly using corrosive could be. Uh, all of these, see these three can switch between corrosive, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, and then that's mostly it. I, I like using the minesweeper though. This minesweeper, especially, it makes using the flipper just like the overall workhorse weapon. So uh, that's very very good. Also these skill points now that we have three more we are we can run double capstone with at least getting one into drowning in brass uh, So we do do that. We don't put go anything into the iron bank uh, With the bottomless mag tree. We just don't need to there's no point so we uh, we can disperse the skill points a lot uh, The way at least I would uh, the way I want them uh, click click I don't know I still use click click just for the other weapons because the other weapons will still like get low in their mag uh, at some point, so it's kind of a, it's it is what it is. Uh, I mean, I it's, it, wh what other like skill point are you gonna really spec into in the bombless mag tree over click click? That was the question. Like, I mean, you know, then some for the road is obviously really really good, and forge is just really really awesome as well. Uh, then we have uh, demolition woman. Obviously, we get short fuse, stainless steel bear, and then we actually go into the uh, hammer down protocol. We double down on that so that we can make use of specialist bear. Uh, and then, like, Iron Bear now actually, like, does a lot of damage. Like, Iron Bear is actually very, very, very good. Uh, it's actually insane. So, uh, even Auto Bear with Hammer Down Protocol is very useful for clearing down ads. And Iron Bear is just, like, really strong and solid overall. Uh, that's really much all that we really need to explain for this one. The Vampire, I mean, I only put in two. That's all you, I felt like you ever really need in here, so... Uh, and then we also have uh, our drowning of brass and five in armored infantry. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I guess one thing we'll go and said like one other like class mod you could use it would be a blast master for sure. Uh, you'll definitely probably kill yourself a little bit less, uh, but I just like this minesweeper. It's just super good for the flipper. Anyways, though, guys, hope y'all did enjoy the video. Uh, let's just probably wrap it up, everything up. Uh, I, this uh, update uh, DLC. Uh, has like actually really provided so many overwhelmingly insane strong weapons for like everyone to use it, or everyone that has a DLC that is and some of the new guardian parks are insane just this update is really good borderlands uh, 3 is like in a really good spot right now it's just overall awesome but anyways so guys hope you enjoyed the video my name is Cree and I'll see y'all in the next one peace out everybody
me up.